Okay, today I'll be showing the Snacku box. It's for October. And as usual, oh, I think this already popped open. It's not as hard to open anymore. But here we have the Snacku tasting box. Still haven't decided on whether I should get the signature box or not. It's, you know, it's a pretty, pretty penny, you know. Too much money for snacks every month. But um, here's this for October. And you see the autumn leaves in the background. It looks really pretty. And they did a nice job on that photo. Um, so Snacku, as summer draws to a close and the leaves start to change, Japan's food scene starts to change as well. They eat according to the season and take pride in the regional delicacies. This month, we feature three popular fall foods of Japan. Persimmons, or kaki, are a popular autumn fruit native to Japan. There are two types of kaki, sweet and bitter. The sweet ones can be eaten raw after peeling off the orange skin. The bitter ones can only be eaten after it's been sun-dried to condense the sweetness and eliminate the bitterness. Hmm. Huh. I didn't know persimmons could be bitter. Uh, news to me. Chestnuts or kuri is the oldest cultivated plant in Japan even before rice. Really? Wow, that's good to know. It's an integral part of many Japanese dishes because of its versatility and being applied to both sweet and savory dishes. Kobocha is Japanese pumpkin that is... Really? <laughs> I probably said that wrong, but it sounds like kombuka. Maybe I'm saying kombuka wrong. I probably am. Kabocha is Japanese pumpkin that is typically much smaller in size than the Western variety. It has green skin and is more closely related to the butternut squash. Kabocha is widely used in both sweet and savory dishes in Japan. Okay, so we have that. That's interesting. I wonder if that's where kombuka came from. Probably not. Maybe I need to look up the history of kombuka. Um, maybe I... Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I'm pretty sure I am. Anyways, per the use. Um, okay, so... This is the pumpkin that they're talking about. Because <laughs> they got a pumpkin on the front. Which one is this, though? Okay, so... Kabocha... I'm... I'm pr Kabocha. Kabocha. Maybe it's Kabocha. I don't know. Kabocha Senbai. These Senbai are made with rice and pumpkins from the northeastern Iwate pre Prefecture. They are mildly sweetened using a natural process with pumpkin and pair perfectly with a nice cup of tea. So, if you see that, that's that. That's a better picture because this is broken, so this is not going to be... Oh, they put pumpkin seeds in it. There's that. It's sweet. And then you can taste the roasted um, pumpkin seeds. This tastes really good. That was good. Hmm. There's another one. Oh, they always put this in here. I see this bird all the time. Um, so I don't think this is on the list. It doesn't look like it's on the list, but I may have to come back to, to, to this. Um, okay. This is gummy. It's gummy feeling, I should say. And it says that it is... Where is it? Kaki Yokan. Kaki Yokan. Where am I putting the emphasis on? Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Suchia was established 250 years ago in the snowy Gifu Prefecture and has been making these snacks since 1902. Dried persimmons are dried through the month of November and then frozen outside in the frigid temperatures until February. Then it is ground and mixed with a combination of malt sugar, salt, and red bean paste. Then aged in a bamboo cask until spring. You won't find these snacks anywhere outside a gifu. Oh, that's how you say it. You won't? Okay, what is this really made of? It just, it looks like, it just looks like a gummy melon. 
I ain't mad at it. So there's that. It looks like it would be spicy. I hope so. Oh. That is different. That's not gummy gummy. It's not like gummy bears. It's like, um, it's almost like the fill of Fig Newton filling, but gelled, if that makes sense. It's a preservative. Wow, this tastes good. Hmm. That tastes really good. It's not spicy. I wish it was, but it's not. Yeah, this is really good. Pretty much ate the whole thing. Okay. And... This is a form of senbai. And there's the packaging. It says, honey senbai, flash fried, rich cracker made with 100% local Japanese rice and drizzles with a mixture of honey and soy sauce. Oh, I love these. I love soy crackers. Yes. Oh man, this is huge. I guess I should take the whole thing out. Well, there's that. Sorry, you can't tell what it looked like before I took a piece of it. Hmm. I freaking love soy crackers. That's amazing. God, that was good. Okay. And then there's this Tohato. Tohato. It's round inside. So I'm assuming it's Choco Matcha Swirl. Double baked cookies infused with two types of matcha green tea powder. Then topped with a chocolate swirl. Aha. Okay, um, I had a similar cracker like this before, except it wasn't matcha, but the filling, they had the filling in the two crackers, but there's that. Oh, it's not a filling. I'm sorry. It doesn't have filling. It's just too cookie. I can't believe I've been into both of those. Wow. It's two separate crackers. It's not bad. I like the matcha drink. I don't know if I like matcha things. But it's not bad. There's that. Can't believe I've been into both at the same time thinking it had cream filling. Okay. And then... Well, which one is... Okay, so we have these little powder puff things. It says Maru Maru. Maru Maru Ramen. This candy is flavored with Ramen, Ramune, one of Japan's most popular soft drinks. Yeah, we used to drink those. During summer, you see Japanese children everywhere drinking its fizzy drinks. So these are like fizzies, candy. You could probably dump this in water and flavor the whole water with these candies. I think I'm going to try that one day. Hmm. It's not bad. I've had these before, so I don't know why I'm saying it's not bad. There's that. And then... So I tried all of... These. So where's this? Is this it? Okay, it says limonade, limonet, lumond, lumond. I'm gonna assume that's lumond. Oh god! Special Halloween version of the popular chocolate rolled wafer cookie. But that's not what it says on here. It says bourbon cocoa cream. Let me eat the one that's broken already. I don't know if this is the same thing that's on that paper, but can I open this? Don't I have scissors? Hmm. 
Oh God. But you know, you, you've probably, it's, it's a Western, it's more of a Western food. It's wafers with chocolate on it. Tastes like it would. No surprises. And last but not least, we have Koriko Momiji. This seasonal snack is from a Hiroshima snack shop called Yamadaya. Yamadaya. Uh, Yamadaya. I don't know. They have been making snacks since 1930 using a special Castella bun infused with locally harvested maple syrup and filled with red bean paste. My battery's about to die already. Um, so this is going to probably have red bean in it. Well, they already said they have red bean in it, but it's probably going to taste like, not mochi, what's the other one that I used to eat? Anyways, there's that. I don't have to do that. You can see it. It's focusing on it. Let me just take a bite. Yeah. But that's not red bean, though. That's, um... What's that root? Yaro. Not Yaro. Yeah. I forgot what it is. But it's a it's a different kind of It's a root. Not a root. Yeah it is. I don't know. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the shot. So there's that. That tastes pretty good. It's not bad. I can put it back in the bag so we have all of that done that wasn't that was pretty good that was pretty good um, I think my favorite piece is actually not the send by not the soy cracker which is what I normally say is the best thing out of the box it's not this time it's this which is what is it called kaki yokan this is really good I wish it was spicy but Either way, it tasted amazing. So this is my favorite piece in the whole box. Um, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know of anything else. Um, I'll try to upload more content on my other channels. Um, my Instagram is at Forever Misinterpreted. You can send a request to be added. I don't know if I'll add yet. I'm not ready to add people to my page, but there's that. And then there's, um, what's the other thing? Twitter. I don't tweet. Tweets seem so chaotic, but I'm up there. I rarely look at it, but it's there. So same Twitter handle as Instagram. And, um, I think it is. If not, I'll put it in the description. And, uh, yeah. Um, I don't upload to Instagram, so if these videos are floating around on Instagram, it ain't me, because I don't even know how. Um, but that should be it for Snacku for October.